Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Bucket Ponds and this is my recycled refrigerator pond. This is outdoors and I built it in a recent video. Uh, since then we've seen dragonflies laying eggs in the pond, we've seen dragonfly larvae, uh, the plants are growing out of control, and most importantly, the mosquito fish are breeding. That's right, our fish are breeding in here even after this short time. So I need to refill the tank, it suffered from some evaporation, that's normal, let's do it. Just grabbing an old water hose here off the swamp shack. I'm not worried about the little metal end of the hose or anything like that. The tank should be fine. Here's my helper, Yin Yang. He's always out here. Just hanging around, landing a hand. And I'm just filling it up. Nothing special here. Uh, I have to get it to a certain water level. Beyond uh, this height right here, it will start to leak. It has a leak near the surface. And it wasn't accidental the way it happened. But it works out well as the res uh, the refrigerator cannot uh, overflow. So even in a heavy rain or any you know adverse weather conditions, the fridge won't overflow and dump all my plants on the ground. But here you can see the mosquito fish and a better look at some of the duckweed and pondweed in here. These are eastern mosquito fish. They are related to guppies, uh, though they are not as heavily domesticated, if that makes sense. Mosquito fish are uh, very wild compared to guppies, and even though they have a bad reputation of being extremely aggressive, I've kept a number of mosquito fish with other pets and had no issues. The pond is doing really well. I refilled the water from that top corner there to avoid uh, disturbing the entire layer on the bottom, and I think that was a good move. The pond plants are doing really well. Uh, you can see stuff is starting to stand up. The duckweed will spread more and prevent some of that evaporation, uh, and that's great, but we don't want to cover the entire surface of the water with duckweed or water lettuce. We want to leave some space for the fish to receive oxygen, uh, for the water to transfer oxygen with the atmosphere. But as you can see, the plants are doing really well. This project is, is just really kick-started. Uh, it's reinvigorated my love for these projects, for these ponds and these plants. And it was pretty easy to put together, really. And I'm making a update video just so you guys know that I'm not one of those YouTubers that makes a one-off video and then the project fails and I never show you. I'm not doing that. I'm showing you right now where it's at, what's going on. You can see this mosquito fish here. They're active fish. They're very entertaining. Uh, they are shy, but very curious at the same time. And here's our fry. Now, I can't get all of them in one place, obviously. They are reclusive. They are somewhat wild. But there's five or six fry, and there's at least 20 of them in here. The fish have uh, surprised me. I didn't expect to get babies this soon. Uh, but I guess the female has decided, or the females have decided, that this is a safe place, and it's time to lay some babies. So uh, fry is always a good sign. That shows me that I must be doing something halfway right with these projects because these fish are happy, they're healthy. And, uh, yeah, they need some more attention. I need to start feeding them some actual fish food, as for now they survive on bugs that fall and breed in the tank. But other than that, we're doing great out here, guys. The refrigerator pond is awesome. As for the snails, you can see that they've taken to laying eggs on the water lettuce. I didn't anticipate this, but each leaf of this water lettuce plant has several uh, small to medium to large uh egg sacs on it from the bladder snails. That's a good sign. And here's a few healthy bladder snails. They're in here breeding too, doing that weird thing where they surf upside down in the water and skim protein. Uh, yeah, little biological protein skimmers. Uh, I have no idea what this action is called, but there they are. They're doing well too. Now you may not know this, but the size of the snail's egg sac can indicate the age of the snail that laid those eggs and also their general health. Uh, larger egg sacs typically mean older, healthy snails. Smaller egg sacs typically come from younger snails. So that's my recycled refrigerator pond. It's been set up for a short time now, and I will continue to bring you update videos as we go. Overall, I am overjoyed with this, this aquarium, uh, this outdoor nature project. We've used a recycled refrigerator to combine our love of ecospheres and our love of aquariums and ponds, put those things together and to create something beautiful where our pets can live and we can come out and do videos and easy filming. And uh, 
in time, I hope to come out here and take some collections and make ecospheres right out of this pond, which I think will be pretty cool. We'll be able to culture it and see if there's any new creatures in here and things that we haven't yet discovered in our other tanks. I anticipate uh, frogs, dragonflies, and other creatures to uh, move in and to make it a permanent home. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. My name is Bucket Ponds. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy my projects, please like and subscribe. We're up to like 135 now. Love you guys. Uh, we recently qualified for a custom URL. So it's just youtube.com slash C slash Bucket Ponds. No more big line of gibberish in the link. So, uh, yep, just type that in nice and simple. YouTube slash C slash Bucket Ponds. That's me. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help me out. And uh, otherwise, just thanks for watching. Love you guys. Have a great night. Have a great day.